What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Tech Money. I want to make a quick video on uh, a new mountable coin called Game Pass. Um, I found this on BitcoinTalk.org. This is a good place to find new coins when they're first coming out. They have a post on here. It became mineable May 1st. Uh, they've got all their links and their information on here. Over on their website, they've got their white paper. There's no timelines to anything, really. But their white paper is there. You can read through it. Their wallet is right here. Full node wallet for Windows. So I went ahead and downloaded that and installed it. You want to do so at your own risk. This is a brand new coin. Um, anything's possible. So be careful what you do with it. I'm going to download it here. And it's already sunk to the blockchain. So we're going to, we're going to set up our flight sheets at Hive. And we're going to start mining. Mining pool stats has Game Pass listed on it now. So you can see the the uh, pools that are mi you can mine to. Uh, we're going to use our plant to uh, mine to right now. So over on our plant, if we click on miners, you can see the hash rate that's on it in some of the top 50 miners. We're going to hit connect. So now to the miner config, we're going to choose a miner we want to use. We're going to use Wal uh, Wild Rig Multi. We're using Linux. Nearest stratum uh, will be America. And then we need to get a wallet address. But this config file will tell us everything we know to put in Hive. Everything we need to put in Hive. So once we're in Hive, the first thing we need to do is make a wallet. So you're going to get the core wallet that you downloaded and installed. File. Receive an address. This will give us our receiving address that we're going to mine to. So we're going to copy that address. We're going to come over to Wallets and Hive. And we're going to add a new wallet. At the top, you're going to have to create a name. So you're going to do Game Pass. And you have to hit Create because it's not already in Hive. I've already got a wallet in here. So when I hit Game Pass... I should be able to select it. So let's see. Right there. So once you select it, you're going to put your address in, and you're going to hit Create, and that will give you your wallet for Hive. So we can see in my list of wallets, I have a Game Pass wallet already. So that's it. That's how you add the wallet to Hive, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out how to connect the pool, and we'll do our uh, flight sheets. So next thing we want to do is go to flight sheets, and we're going to create a new flight sheet. So we're going to pick coin, and we're going to use the coin we created with the wallet. Game pass. Wallet will be game pass. Pool configure and miner, and then we want to select our miner. So if we go back to our plant, we can see that we've selected Wild Rig Multi. So we'll select Wild Rig Multi here. And then we're going to hit Set Up Miner Config. Now in here, Game Pass is Kapow, so we need to pick Kapow. Wallet Worker Template. We're just going to use a wallet worker template here. Pool URL. We'll get that from our plant. So that's going to be this stratum address here. And we want the port number included in that. So we're going to hit copy. We're going to paste that into there. Now if you want a solo mine, you would put in M equals solo. And that would solo mine. But we're not going to solo mine for this. So now that we've got that done, we want to hit Apply Changes. We'll call this Test Video. And we'll hit Create Flight Sheet. Now we can see the flight sheets created. We're going to pick the worker that we want to mine to. So I'm going to use Second. I'm going to go Flight Sheet. I'm going to take the flight sheet that we just created and I'm going to hit the rocket ship. And it will start mining. 
Now, a couple things to note here. One, um, as I mentioned before, I have my power limits set low. This is Kapow. It will be hot and it will draw a lot of power. So if you don't have any overclocks in there right out of the gate, then you're going to want to set your power limit low so the cards don't draw too much power. Okay, so so far we're up and mining. We don't have any overclocks, and you're going to notice with the new coins that it's pretty hard to get overclocks. What we're going to do is because we know this coin's running Kapow, is we're going to go to hash rate.no, hit GPUs. We're going to pick the GPU we want to overclock. So we'll say 3070, and we're going to pick a coin that's on the same um, algorithm. So I think we're going to use... Um, we can use Chlor. Chlor is in the same algorithm. So if we look in the Chlor overclocks, it's 2100 and 150 power limit for 3070. So we'll go back over to Hive. We'll pick a 3070. And we're going to put in 2100 and 150. You can adjust the power limit um, however you need to for your power setup. So now we've successfully overclocked that 3070 using uh, Chlor since it's on the same algorithm. And then you can go through each card individually and overclock as required. A lot of these cards are getting lower hash rate than they can get because of my low power limit. But I don't want my power to go much higher than the 1276. So the last thing we need to do is go back over to our plant and make sure that we're actually mining to it. So I'm going to copy the wallet address out of Hive. Go to our plant. Want to scroll up to my miner. You can paste your address into here and hit set. And as we can see, my original rig's been mining for a little bit, but my second's now connected, and we're getting shares, so we're up and mining. So back over in Hive, both rigs are up and mining, and uh, we're doing good. One thing I want to point out is mining new coins is extremely risky. Uh, downloading new wallets from new projects is extremely risky, so do so at your own risk. Uh, this video is just about mining. Um, Game Pass, we're not endorsing it. Happy mining. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of future videos.